Hey guys, back to Revenge of the Sea Team. And today we got a couple of things to do. First off, though, I wanted to wrap up some of the uh, Ender or the uh, animal bikes from uh, last episode that I did, or the episode before. Uh, so we need to show off the Enderman bike and the slime bike. And then I ran out of leather to make saddles with, so uh, yeah. <laughs> I'll let you guys uh, go explore the rest of those on your own. So real quick, I also redesigned the house a little bit. So this is the first floor. Uh, threw in some windows so I could see outside because it was kind of crammed in here. Uh, put in the elevator blocks. Uh, fixed up my storage a little bit here. Found some uh, experience bushes that I put outside. Dug a little trench. I'm going to make like uh, a line of these all the way around the outside eventually. Um, fixed up some of the orberry bushes out here. I've got ten of each, almost. Missing a few, uh, what's this one, iron? Yeah, missing iron and copper, but uh, I'm doing ten of each out here. Uh, this I was testing if the Pam's Harvest Craft Gardens will actually spread to nearby blocks, and they do. So I've planted a few of the ones I have the least of, and I'm just waiting for them to spread to nearby blocks so I can harvest them. I can just farm those up a little bit. Uh, I put an item collector on the uh, food box here because when these are uh, finished growing and you right click, the items just kind of pop out on the ground and you have to walk over and pick them up, but this way they go right into the box. So I don't have to worry about them. And that's a whole stack of cucumber already. Let me take some of those out. I'll use those uh, for our uh, battle tower that we're doing today. Anyway, so added the second floor. I'm kind of making the tower here like uh, stacked up rooms, and each room has like a mod focus. The bottom floor is going to be just uh, random stuff and vanilla items and blocks. So we've got uh, dark oak, oak, cobblestone, regular torches, regular glass blocks, stuff like that, and then just my miscellaneous storage. So we uh, jump up to the second floor. This is my um, evil craft room here. I've got uh, undead logs and planks and the undead leaves from the undead tree that's in the mod on the ceiling because it has this uh, animated thing going on where that like bleeds and drips everywhere so I thought that would be cool just make the roof out of those but uh, I've got all my evil craft stuff set up in here and some black torches from the artifice mod you make those by putting torches around a uh, like black dye or a ink in the crafting bench it makes eight at a time Uh, and then just my storage for evil craft stuff. Anyway, uh, all right, let's get these uh, these bikes shown off here. So we got the Ender bike, makes this little bent over Enderman dude here, and uh, he walks around like normal. Let me F5 here. I mean, he's kind of weird looking, but he's an Enderman. And when you hit spacebar, he teleports. Oh, we're in a new cave. Ooh, ravine. Oh, this is the ravine that's under the house. Yeah. I've already uh, been down in here. Spacebar again. Uh, looks like another cave of some kind. Maybe same ravine, different spot. Spacebar again. It's really good for finding things underground, that's for sure. Oh, there's some ender ore. I'm going to mark this spot right here. Just mine this out later. Hop back on. Let's see if I can get him to go back up uh, on the surface. Seems like there's a little bit of a cooldown on the teleport. You can't just spam it. you got to kind of wait for his, uh, his head to go back to normal. Yeah. Seems what it is. There's a visual indicator on how long it takes. And I'm 
stuck partway in the ceiling. All right, so let's just jump back to the house here. And uh, he'll be lost in that cave down there. Anyway, other one is the slime bike. This makes a random slime. Uh, I've already made uh, a couple of them. I made a green one and a blue one. And apparently you can also make a uh, magma cube out of that. Anyway, so this thing, if you hit the uh, buttons to walk, your directional buttons, he doesn't move. You have to actually jump to move. So he kind of hops a few squares at a time. And I found out, sitting here playing with him for a little bit, if you hold down the space bar, he jumps over and over and over. And every time he jumps, you go a couple of blocks higher. I think it's like three, maybe four blocks higher each time. And as far as I can tell, there's not much of a limit on this. I went all the way to like 180 blocks in the air. But uh, every time he jumps, he goes higher. So, anyway, I guess that's that. Let's go ahead and kill this guy. Get me the morph. Uh, head in here. Repair those. Top off the armor. And I'm going to put these on the wall here. I made the, I threw up some of these drying racks and put some random tools and stuff down. Uh, let's take that. Nah, leave that. This is that uh, Abyssal Knight pick that I found a while back. I was actually using that to get obsidian. So I didn't need to upgrade my uh, pickaxe I'm using right now. Uh, we'll take these and... Just reorganize this a little bit like that, and I'll just throw this in the chest somewhere. Uh, right there is fine. All right, so without further ado, let's head over to the battle towers. I was just calling this a mob tower uh, on my map, but uh, I was looking at the mod list, and it's called a battle tower. Apparently, that's the name of the mod. So, uh, let's go cave spider, because they're immune to poison, and there's a lot of spiders in these. And I think the, um, this is the one I think I went down in already, so some of these chests are going to be empty to start with. Oh, money. And I've got a stack of torches, I've got, uh, some food, and I found one of these white stones from random things. You have to charge it. You find it uncharged, and you have to charge it, which basically is uh, stand outside on a full moon, and it'll charge up. Ow. And while it's charged, you uh, can't die, essentially. It uh, spins the charge on it, gives you a bunch of HP and some regeneration, and a bunch of resistance and saves your life basically and then you have to recharge it again and these guys are not attacking me because I'm a hostile mob apparently I'll kill them anyway so the morph mod I guess makes this a little easier yeah this one I've already been into a couple of floors let's head on down I'm gonna turn this tower into like a really awesome mob grinder out. Oh, and I found out how to pick up the blood off the floor, by the way. Right, let's run in here and out. Put some torches down. Come on. i die of fall damage in here. Jeez. Let's eat some food. Keep the HP up. It hasn't used the charge yet. Getting pretty low there. Ow. Alright, anything in the box? Nope. Let's go ahead and break it down. 
Uh, where's my syringe here? Oh, it's full. I'll have to come back for that. Alright, top off the uh, hunger and the food. I mean, the uh, health here. Well, I've got a second. Yeah, they're not even gonna attack me. Well, that's more for mod settings for you. Alright, this one I've already looted. Loot seems to get better as you go down, so eventually we'll get down to where I stopped. And, uh, ooh, I don't want to fall there. We'll get down to where I stopped, and there should be some pretty decent loot down there. Spiders? Oh. Ow, 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 room full of spiders. They all get stuck in the ceiling and stuff. And now I'm stuck in the ceiling. Oh, that's great. Break this block. There we go. Out. Oh, come on. Torch. Light this room up. And I already got this one. Still hearing a lot of spiders. Alright, let's just camp out here for a minute, let the HP go back up. They're all just staring at me. <laughs> yeah, the swords that these guys are carrying, uh, some of the mobs will spawn carrying these swords. Uh, you can actually get those, but they're kind of a rare uh, chance of getting them. Uh, they can still spawn over here in the corners. Let's light that up too. Alright, kill this guy. He's stuck in the ceiling somewhere. Clear path here. Another spider in the ceiling. Come on down. Come on down. Just well, well, I was gonna say I'll just go up there and get them myself. Inventory still fine. Come on, spiders! All right, let's run over here and throw some torches. And in that corner, and in this corner. Oh, there's one of those spirit things. Where did it go? Uh, that zombie spawned a little spirit guy. Don't see where it went, though. Alright, checking the chest. I already got this one. Out. Out, out, out. Out, out. What the heck? Hope that white stone kicks in when it gets down to about to kill me. Alright. Brought plenty of food, I think. I'm just burning through these berries real quick because uh, I had a whole lot of them. They're good for just topping off the hunger. Right. What the heck? It's like it's invisible the first time or two it hits me and then uh, I'm stuck inside of a chest. Well, that's a new one. Okay. Maybe the spider was stuck in the chest? Or are they spawning, like, behind here? Let me break this so there's no shadow behind it. Okay. 
Okay, out of berries. I'll move over to bread. Yeah, I think bread was not the thing crashing the mod pack before. Uh, they had specu speculated that that was it. But, uh... Haven't heard anything about it since then, so maybe they figured out what it was and uh, got rid of it. Because they did delete a couple of mods out of the pack recently. Let's clear a path here. Oh, there's a lot of money laying around. Alright. This room is the one with spiders spawning in it. There we go. That'll at least help. And light up these two corners. Alright, chest. Ah, here we go. Okay. So here's where I stopped. So we got a chance cube, chain chest plate, greater power catalyst for blood magic, another stencil. I've probably got like eight or ten of those. A couple of saplings, and a or uh, pineapple seed. Alright, so that's probably one of the best uh, items I've found so far. Uh, do I have a way to make a crafting bench? No. Oh, I brought these uh, inventory pets with me. I didn't even mention that. These guys will uh, sit on your hotbar, and they have like special abilities. Like, this one is an ender chest, so I can actually just sit here and uh, throw a bunch of stuff... Oh, not you. You stay there. Throw a bunch of stuff in this uh, ender chest for later, and this little guy eats uh, ender nuggets, which is just a uh, broken down ender pearl. And actually... Uh, whenever they're hungry and you have to feed them for them to work again, they have a durability bar underneath the picture. And you can put them in the blood magic, uh, I mean the uh, evil craft blood chest and recharge them without using the item that they require. But the cow one, little cow pet, uh, cures poison and fills empty buckets with milk. So I brought him along just in case I was going to get poisoned. And the inner chest guy, oh there's another spirit, uh, went off down the staircase. Uh, the inner chest guy acts like an inner chest. So I brought him for backup storage. Alright. Oh, there it is. Come here you. No, it despawned. They'll eventually despawn if you don't kill them fast enough. All right, and that I have no idea what's going on here. Boss time? Yeah, boss time. Something down there's not happy. All right, let's uh. Whatever it is under me. Let's get down here and find out what's going on. What? Battle Tower Golem. Okay. Can I just cheese this around the corner? Yeah, I can. Can I get this morph or is it kind of a boss? I wonder. Hey, come on over here, dude. You got 200 HP. I can just jump in here between shots and hit him. Spider, spider clumps messing with me a little bit. Now, all right, let the HP regen. Oh, and he's still hitting me there. At this angle, I think I'm safe. Come on, HP. Go back up. I wonder if that chest actually had anything in it. 
or uh, if it just triggers the boss to spawn. And I don't know how to turn that down. Maybe he's a jukebox sound? Could be. I don't know. The hostile creature sound is like really low already. Alright. I'm gonna eat this just to top the hunger off. And head back down. Round two. Ow, 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 ow. Save me, Whitestone. There it goes. And he's dead. Got him. Oh, I did get the morph. Alright, so the Whitestone triggered, gave me full HP and um, regeneration and probably fire resist. Alright, torches. Let's light this sucker up. Alright, let me go back up to that other chest. Let me see if that makes him respawn. Or if that was just a random thing. Nope, this is a regular chest. Okay. Uh, 7,200 coins. Awesome. Golden feather, four more chance cubes, some lily pads, a redstone, and two redstone lamps. Cool. I can use those in the house. Alright. Ender chest, buddy. Let's put some stuff away. And take you off the hotbar. Alright, so this uh, looks like the bottom floor. Grand prize, steadfast drone, steadfast drone. Uh, almost 23,000 coins. Another Origins of Darkness book. I've got like four of those now. Some redstone, three diamonds, and 11 gold ingots. Cool. And break this down. Just to be sure. Uh, we're down on level 21. I actually want to check underneath this real quick. Anything under here? Nope. Oh, Coralium Ore. I'll take that. Well, why not? This stuff's kind of rare. Might as well grab it while I'm here. Okay. Well, let's hop back out of here. Uh, head back to the house, drop off some stuff, clear out our ender chest, buddy. And we can go for round two in the other one. Okay, let's see. Uh, or I might just do that one off camera because they take a minute. And I kind of want to recharge my white stone, which will take uh, an entire lunar cycle. It's going to be like an uh, hour and a half or so. Because uh, it just charged basically before I went over there. Uh, Yeah, I'll save the other one. I'll do that one off camera and show you guys the loot I get. Because it's going to be just the same thing again, I'm sure. Uh, go down, light it up kill the boss, get the loot. So I'll show you guys what I get out of that one at the beginning of the next episode. Uh, and I think also in the next episode we're gonna want to check out the nether because I built this. And this is where my ender chest was supposed to be to uh, put some more stuff in here. But anyway, so I made a nether portal and we will do that next episode also so until then, I will uh, see you guys later. Leave a like, leave comments. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.